Hey, welcome back. Right now, we're currently heading into the theater where... I'm gonna play fetch with some weirdos. I'm assuming the majority of the people I'm searching for are gonna get found in here. Or, uh, the people, at least the people I haven't seen yet. Thanks, I wanted to pull the poo out of your pants. What have we talked about? Hmm. Fascinating. with your password. Wait, you were under my desk? Look, you need to keep your password safe, all right? I'm watching out for you because I love you. You love me? I love you enough to crawl under your desk. I totally wasn't looking for the pen I dropped. Flatter. Well. This place is annoying. There's a lot of opportunity for stuff and just nothing. Where to, where to next? Guess I could check upstairs and then I guess I'll try to fight my mom to fight these monsters. Court is set to weigh in on what could be a groundbreaking decision this term. Can an emulated entity be granted power of attorney? Over the last few decades, the public has become increasingly familiar with artificial helpers, from personal assistants on their wristwatches to the smart home systems that remind you where you put your keys. More recent advances in hybridic tech and the genius of connectomics, the ability to map myriad neural connections inside a person's brain, have thrust digital doppelgangers squarely into the legal arena. Recently, billionaire Roark Wallace granted power of attorney not to one of his many estranged family members, but to a robotic facsimile of himself named Ransom. Ransom emulates Dr. Wallace's own reasoning interests to the stomach and his own extensive personality works to the point where the two are nearly indistinguishable. At least over the phone. In person, Ransom, Ransom's molded ceramic carbon body while beautiful make his true nature unmistakable. Needless to say, Mr. Wallace's family is not amused, especially concerning Ransom's decision for how to execute Mr. Wallace's will. Talk to him like he's diff like he's like like they're two different people. Same garbage on my desk too. Memory locks. Calvino, colleague, won't notice anything wrong. Eidetic memory. Work obsessed. Perfect medical record. No absences. 
New entry. Show, Danielle. Head of IT. Dislikes you. Dislikes Alex more. Need to find out why. Note to self. Research. Chef Mitchell. And emotive operator hack. Audio output October? Dio Igwe. One of Alex's hires. Cheap to recruit due to his unpopular stance on psychic phenomena. One of the station's best scientists. Introvert. Knows about tests. Wild Alex. Believes your brother and Typhon can save his career. <laughs> Michaela Ilyushin. Chief engineer. Not on speaking terms. Had brief relationship. You ended it when tests began. She believes it is because you discovered her medical condition, paraplexus. Convenient, but false. Severing ties seemed prudent to you. Less painful, given the impending memory loss. Paraplexus. Nerve disorder. Prevents use of neuromods. Requires aggressive drug therapy to prevent degeneration. Renders candidates ineligible for assignment to Talos 1. Sarah Elazar. Chief of security. Not a friend. Knows about the Typhon. Not about your tests, but suspects. Is trustworthy, but doesn't trust Alex. Or you, yet. Okay. Is that why I came here? Thank you. I should probably go, go over the list of those things, but not right now. So is there something I'm looking for in here? Nice view of space. Not the best, but nice. Still dragging these garbage things around. And here we are again! <laughs> No, I'm not gonna stuff everything into the. I'm not gonna stuff everything into the uh, shower again. Bag has been a gar piece of garbage downstairs. Oh, he's looking over this, huh? Oh, it's probably why he 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 got into the sneaky stuff, the stuff you're not supposed to know about. And now he can now he was holding the uh, guest suite hostage. Piece of garbage. Did he have not much? Another key card to Alex's office. So, what was supposed to be? his friend go though I 
etheric, etheric, etheric. The other one wasn't real. This is Fowles. Officer Fowles. Malia, I have an important request. It's sensitive, though. I need to know I can trust you with a surveillance matter. Uh, yes, of course, sir. It's just that normally I can't do something like that without consent from Chief Elazar HR and another director. Those people report to me, Malia. Yes, sir. I understand. I want you to keep an eye on Annalise Gallegos. Where she goes. How she keeps visitors. I'll log everything on the security computer. Good. Send me your report at the end of the week. Yes, sir. Wanted to check in on you, Sky. Just a Neuromod hangover. I feel weird. I can't believe you got modded for Alex's clown show at the Tulip. Are you kidding? I've always wanted to play an instrument, but never had the time. It's so... It's like I can see the sheet music in my head. I feel like I've been doing this since I was seven. Besides, you are going to be on stage with me, right? Only to catch you if you suddenly collapse. And only if you keep me from punching Alex if I drink too much. <laughs> that should be enough to synthesize Danielle's voice. Enough to spoof the lock on deep storage, anyway. Also, I've been monitoring noetic field signatures around the station when I can. Mm -hmm. With humans, the signal barely registers. The Typhon make a strong ripple by comparison. But with the Coral, my instrument readings are erratic. I'm not sure what it means. The sooner we get your arming key, the better. You're just paranoid. Up here, nothing. Nothing. Thank you. Ooh. You've got me really curious. Are you ready for your instructions, my lady? This better not get us into trouble. Not too much trouble, anyway. <clears throat> First, you must journey to the tree where we carved our initials. And what if I bump into Julian Howard? Run like hell. Julian the Ogre does not like people touching his trees. Or his, uh, fruit. <laughs> Probably be a lot less grumpy. Anyway. Beneath a stone, you will find a magical key card. This key card will unlock everything your heart desires. Oh, well, I don't need a key for that. And don't worry about work. Michaela said you could take an extra shift since it's your birthday. Sneaky stuff going on. That must be, that has to be in the Arboretum. Oh boy, well. I don't have to this, I don't have the supplies to do this. Need a uh, fabricator. Probably one of the uh, things, though. Oh, that's adorable. So I know 37's in the kitchen, so. Hmm.
Why would they put this guy in here if they're not gonna do anything with him? He's got. He's gotta be something. He's gotta be here for a reason. Hmm. Third turn, I think. That's not working. Hey, aren't those supposed to be infecting me or something? Hmm. So I can shoot him with that, but I'm not sure if he'll stay like that. my way through everything yeah I'm gonna have to go find a fabricator is there even one on this floor uh, they've got a power kiosk a fun ruiner medical bay security station transition okay so I'm in crew quarters what about in the Arboretum can't look at the map from a wrong okay whatever So I guess I'll just... Lots of, st lots of scavenger hunting and not much else. <laughs> For an appointment? Alright, so let's see if there's any... There's a tree somewhere in the arboretum that I have to find. There's an objective in Alex's office.
cannot reproduce the problem. Yeah, I need to get to that fabricator fast. Good afternoon, Talos. Don't, no, not dying today. I'm dying today. Innovation Award this quarter. Whoa! What was that? How am I gonna pull this off? Welcome. Maybe I can help you. I can be using the uh, shielding. with this upgrade I can just run a I can use it to run away they seem to be entirely frozen that's cool hello good to see you again dr. you so I'm just gonna run for it
It's been fun, but uh, see you in the next. No, wait, I'll keep going. I'll keep going. Most likely in heat in that area up there. Run away. Don't have any access to explosives, but hmm. Troubling. I hope all the bad guys aren't back. They probably are. Back here. That's the way to do it. Is that it? Well, I'm out of it. Well, I'm out of sight. There we go. Uh, whatever. I'll see you in the next episode. I'm gonna record one more and be done. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.